happy to smile as always, but uh, yeah, the lines for immigration are pretty long. To go through, you get to duty free, and then here is the luggage belt with some nice live music to welcome you to the Dominican Republic. And welcome to the Caribbean, welcome to Punta Cana. I am Travel Tom Tom, and on my journey to visit every country in the world, I made it for the first time to Dominican Republic. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know for buying a prepaid SIM card for Dominican Republic. Oh, like holiday companies. No, still not connected. That sucks if there would be no place to buy a SIM card. As uh, you cannot buy a prepaid SIM card for Dominican Republic at Punta Cana Airport, um, I came straight to the mall because there's a mall like uh, one and a half kilometers from the airport and uh, there is a phone shop for sure. So yeah, it's the only way to get connected here when you land in Punta Cana Airport. If you are flying to Santo Domingo Airport, then on my YouTube channel, there's also a video for buying a prepaid SIM card here at Santo Domingo Airport. Buying a SIM card for the Dominican Republic would of course be the best on arrival at the international airport. Well, as you saw on Punta Cana Airport, there was no possibility to buy a prepaid SIM card. And that also counts for Santiago de los Caballeros here at the airport. The same problem, there is no shop from Altis or from Claro or from Viva. So yeah, buying a SIM card also is not possible if this is where you start your trip to the Dominican Republic. Here in the mall we have in the background there's Altis and we have Claro. There's a two main mobile internet provider shops here in the Dominican Republic and I'm going to look who has the best network, I'm going to search the prices for you and I come up with recommendations of uh, what should be your prepaid SIM card when you travel to Dominican Republic. So I just checked the prices here at Altis. You can get 15 gigabytes of data. This is valid for one month, including unlimited text and call in the Dominican Republic, plus another $5 credit for just 10 US dollars. So yeah, buying a local prepaid SIM card in the Dominican Republic is worth it, considering that an overseas data package costs you like five to ten dollar a day and then there's another mobile internet provider here in dominican that's claro and i walk out of the claro shop and i'm already connected uh, i'll tell you in a second why i chose to buy a claro prepaid sim card for my trip to dominican republic but uh, i bought a package for 10 gigabytes for 10 days and that was 300 dominican republic pesos which is about five and a half dollar on top of that i had to pay 150 which is a little less than three dollar for my sim card to register it and the registration process was kind of funny of course i had to give my passport but look at this mm. <laughs> I also had to pose for the camera and blink with my eyes and a photo was taken. It's all part of the registration process if you buy a prepaid SIM card here in Dominican Republic. Claro also has packages for one day, for three days, for five days, for 10 days and even for 15 days, which makes Claro much more flexible than it comes to LTs, because at LTs, or LTs, whatever, how you can pronounce it, they only have one prepaid SIM card for tourists and it's for one month. Despite Claro being much more flexible when it comes to data packages here in Dominican Republic, it is not the reason why I chose to buy a prepaid SIM card of Claro instead of Altis. The reason I did that is because Claro has the better mobile internet network here in Dominican compared to Altis. And since I'm traveling around the country and I'm going towards Haiti, it's a long way over land and I want to make sure I have the best 4G connection. And after traveling almost three weeks around the Dominican Republic, I can tell you that I was actually pretty happy with a Claro prepaid SIM card. I went, for example, to Samana. That's a peninsula far north east and yeah there is pretty much only a claro signal and no alti signal another example is the beautiful isla saona all the way in the southeast yeah there is this gorgeous island palm trees white beach ends, and there actually is a claro tower so it has amazing 4g with up to 100 mbps 
download speed, it's incredible. But yeah, there's no LTE signal here. So it's pretty clear that I, Travel Tom Tom, recommend buying a prepaid SIM card of Claro for traveling to the Dominican Republic. Well, I hear you say now, what about e-SIM cards or international SIM cards for the Dominican Republic? Yes, I totally recommend them. The thing is, they are more expensive, way more expensive. An e-SIM card for the Dominican Republic costs one gigabyte and nine dollar fifty so if you want three gigabytes yeah that's gonna cost you almost 30 us dollar the good thing is this e-sim card actually works on the claro network so that is at least fine but yeah you can order it online before your trip so when you land you are online maybe one gigabyte for the first day before you find a claro shop uh, that would be actually handy, I would say. But if you use a lot of gigabytes, it's definitely worth it to buy a local prepaid SIM card on arrival here in the Dominican Republic. I hope all my tips for staying connected when you travel to the Dominican Republic were helpful. Uh, if you want more detailed and more up-to-date information about prices and everything, go to the link in the description. You will find my blog post. And in the blog post are also links to buying an international SIM card or buying an e-SIM card for the Dominican Republic. It's all very well explained and super easy for you. If you want to buy an e-SIM card, this is the place to go. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I hope you could give me a like for my effort showing you the best SIM card for the Dominican Republic and uh, wishing you one more thing. Enjoy this beautiful country.